Well, it's Vern from VFC Archery. I'm going to take a look at a couple of horn bows that I'm making that are at different stages of construction. You'll see the horn bow uh, furthest from me, which is very close to being completed. At least the sinew is on and it's drying. And I'll give you a view just of the ears. Let's move up to the top. You can see the ears on both of them. They're not exactly going to be the same bows, but the one side closest to me has yet to be finished. Uh, I just took the binding off which binds the horn on the back to the wooden core and the handle as you can tell is nowhere near finished but that's what it would look like before and after sinewing. So really it's just the sinew that uh, is the difference there. You can tell the limb the furthest from me is the one that has three layers of sinew roughly. The one closest to me is ready for sinewing and you might even be able to take a look and see the uh, the grooving. So the grooving is there to uh, give it more surface when the sinew is attached. There's the splice, one of the four splices. And these bows are like say are at different stages but one is a lot closer to being finished than the other and one is darker than the other. And if you look at the sayas or the ears, the one furthest from me is maple, the one closest to me is mulberry. Mulberry closest to me is probably the better one because it's lighter. That vise there is what I'm going to put them in to bend them when initially uh, they're dry and long before a string is put on it. So I thought I would just show you the progress of these two bows and kind of the difference uh, that, they, uh, that they look like at different stages of development. So I'll tip it to the side just so you can kind of get a view. So there's the side view. It's quite dark. That animal sinew actually turned out to be quite dark. Initially it was the same color and there's the side of the one um, with the horn uh, that has just been bound. I can't show you the horn on this one because it's covered with tape. I just put masking tape on there so I wouldn't get any glue on it during the sinewing. But it's the same horn. It's uh, water buffalo. That's the best horn for making bows. And they're both Turkish horn bows. The one furthest from me is at least a hundred pound draw weight. That is just going to be a very very powerful Turkish war bow and uh, more powerful than I wanted it to be but we'll see what we can get the weight down to with some bending and flexing but I think over time it's just going to get more and more powerful as it dries further and further. Also you can see the limbs. The limb furthest from me has been drawn in. The other one is further out. That's because the sinewing has pulled that limb in as well as I've clamped a string across the top to bring the limb closer together as the sinew is drying. So just give you a, an idea of the difference um, between the two, uh, depending on the stage of development that it's at. So the one closest to me will bend in the same way as that one. Um, and I've got another video out there showing um, when I clamp them together what it looks like. So once again, it's uh, Vern from VFC Archery. And thanks for watching.